Hey, what, what's the role? I mean, this is this, we got young talent guitar players. We got we got a one million guitar players in Holland. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, I mean, they live seventeen million people. Uh, what is your advice to the young talent guitar players? I mean, this is very important for, for them as well. well We're an audience, of course. It's I mean. only advice, but my advice is to. Um, well, okay. When I first started, I started because I loved music. Yeah. And as soon as I learned to play guitar a little bit. Um, I wanted to play out for people, but the people didn't want to hear my original music. They wanted to hear cover songs. Yeah. So I thought, well, I have to do this in order to be heard. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Do what you want. Make real music. Music is... From your heart. Is, yeah, exactly. From your heart. Yeah. And uh, they turn it into a business. And yeah. there's nothing wrong. There is music. Mm -hmm. There is music business. Yeah. So don't be afraid to just play music. There's, especially if you're a kid, I mean, that's when you have to learn and develop your own style. Um, you know, at first you copy people, yeah. and then you develop your own thing. But uh, the business side really messed up my head. It's taken me years to, to get that out of my head and just and just play. Yeah. And it's still it's still very hard to to feel to to think not with your head but with your heart. Mm -hmm. That's the hardest thing. Yeah. And too many people are thinking about, well, if I do this, I make more money. If I do this. More people come. Yeah, it. Life is not about storing up a the bunch first of money. tone, but but then your tone. That's what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. So you know, follow your heart. Play what you want to play. Yeah, that's true. And uh, what's your first guitar brand? I mean, I got a lot of people here on this table saying, <laughs> "Hey, uh, a name never heard." You know, what's what's your first guitar? Brand? My very first guitar. You, very, you still have it? No, oh. it's terrible. Uh, it was a Decca. A acoustic, Decca. Acoustic. And the strings were this high off the neck. So you could slide your arm under the strings. <laughs> you can walk underneath it. It's horrible. Uh, but I a learned deca. learned how to play boogie, yeah. boogie boogie on it. And uh, second was a Harmony electric, with a small Gibson amp with a, a blown 10 inch speaker. All right. Sounded great. And Real then, 10 inch uh, speaker. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, I taught my parents to buy me a, a black 335, which I still have. All right. And uh, that's a good guitar. Yeah. But I like, I like. Uh, Fender and Gibson, of course. I like them all, but I, I use a Strat mostly, uh, Telly and a Les Paul. Yeah. For and the I tone, of course. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but this describe you what you're telling me. I mean, you you play the blues on a Tony Spinner way. Well, That's I'm blues influenced, but first was rock and roll. It was the first music yeah, you know, of course, that yeah. spoke to me. And then uh, the blues came through people like Johnny Winter, yeah. Alvin Lee. Uh, and because of them, I got into Muddy Waters and Lightning Hopkins and Albert King and, and the real blues, you know. I should have quit you. I should have quit you, baby. Long time ago. I should have quit you, baby. I'm going back down to Mexico. I'm about to follow on my first mind. Baby! 